welcome to another Friday and another episode of Ask Trisha the Show, where every Friday you ask me questions on Twitter and I answer them. And today I have a Miami Dolphins shirt on, so go Dolphins. I don't even know if it's football season, but go Dolphins anyways. So I'm going to go to Twitter. Well, I basically already went to Twitter and asked you guys to ask me questions, and that's what I'm going to do today. Okay. <laughs> getting direct messages from like a certain special someone it just makes your day anyways that made me really happy okay um okay um oh my gosh they're coming in so quickly oh my gosh eliza at eliza is rue are you considering starting a podcast yes but I feel like I talk about it so much and it still never happened. It's just one of those things where I just need to sit down and start because I think once it's like started, I can like get it rolling. It's kind of like with my YouTube. Like I, I just had to get it started and then I can just take off with it. But yeah, I do want to definitely do a podcast. Laura at UAN Vinyls, strawberry chocolate or vanilla? I, it depends. Like I like, I like chocolate cake, but I like vanilla ice cream. I don't know, not strawberry. <laughs> Uh, what phone case are you currently using? Asks Michelle at Cody is F I Y M 64. This phone case that I got from eBay. Um, Laura, oh, I said Laura asked that question. Okay, yeah, I just want to be sure. Um, Park at Parker Amerson, who's your favorite person to collab with? Well, Shane and Abby. Like, Shane and I, I just, it's so funny. Like, I don't know. He's like the one person in my life that just, like, cracks me up. <laughs> like, I just, I laugh all the time around him. Like, he's just, He's just funny. Um, whoa, at Erica Gibson, will you have an organized, do an organized tour or meet and greet? I would love to. It's just like, I've like gone out to places to try and get places to like, you know, rent and stuff. I don't know. It's just like nobody wants to have me. <laughs> will you have me? <laughs> um, oh, here's a good one. Taylor Gaines at Little Tay Tay 8 says, my question is, what is the best advice you can give on how to manage time? Which I'm a really bad time manager. I just thought that was a good question. Uh, but how I do manage time, because I'm a really bad time manager, and so what I what I have done is my planner. You guys have seen I did like a a, a plan my week with me, and um, it's like a Kiki K planner. So I'm really bad with time management. And I'm really lazy, so I like pick like a day of the week to get like all my errands done, and then I pick like, a day of the week to get all my work done. So that way, it's like I'm only doing two days of like boring stuff, and then I have feel like I have like five days to just like goof off and do whatever I want. So I don't know. I just like writing it down helps for me. I guess is would be the best answer for that um, question. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, faith that I am. I'm in every. By judging my profile pic, can you tell me if I look beautiful? Well, first of all, you probably look beautiful. And yes, you are gorgeous. And I'm so jealous of your thick hair and your thick lips and your big eyes. And you look very young, so I'm assuming that's all natural. But even if it wasn't, I would still be super jealous of it. Um, Broken Heart at Chocolate Baby, what's your favorite song of your album and what's your best book you wrote, by the way, I really love you. Well, if you're talking about my Fat Chase album, I, of course, really love Lost and Found. It's very, like, personal to me. And uh, my new album, I really like the song, There You Go, and that one's also very personal to me. As far as my books go, I really love Tease. Tease is my least selling book. <laughs> it's a erotic fiction and it was definitely my lowest selling, but honestly it was like the most fulfilling. I love being like creative and writing. Um, but my first two, well specifically my history of insanity, I just, I, I, I like that book just because it's like, I think you get to know a more sense of like who I am. Um, Brie, sure, what's your favorite sport? I'm not really a sport kind of a girl. <laughs> I like the sport of binge eating. <laughs> um, Laura, at, oh, Laura again says, what are your most used emojis? Let me just go up in here. My sister and I were having a conversation. So there's our conversation, as you can see. And I will just go to my most recent emojis. So... Those are my smiley ones, but this is my most recent ones. This little timer over here. And those are my most recent emojis. I don't know if you can see. There's not a glare. Yeah. Um, I love the syringe. A big fan of the syringe. A big fan of the bye girl bye. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of the, well I do hearts all the time for like everyone. Like love, love, love. And um, then I've been a, lot, a big fan of that 
I don't want to do it. I don't want to go. So, yeah. And that's my sister. I just call her popcorn, and we have the big bit emojis. So, yeah. I love the bit emojis. <laughs> um... Silji asked Siljess, if you could do anything in the world right now, what would you do? I don't know if you mean just like right at this very moment. I would love to bitch eat on some pizza right now. But I'm filming my music video tomorrow. We filmed my music video uh, literally from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. And so that's why I look kind of rattered. This is like last night's hair and makeup. So I kind of look a little tattered and torn. But um, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I would be eating pizza and Doritos. <laughs> And Coke. Selena! Selena referenced the... Selena, how do you get that great vacuum of yours? Well, I eat a medium pizza all by myself. Lots of pepperoni. That's important. Scarf Doritos. Drink lots of Coke and never exercise. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone reference that? Okay. Um, how are you? I'm good. Thanks, Eliza. How are you? Um, love you so much. Love you too, Rihanna. Danielle at Cookie Dough 605. What was the best hotel you ever stayed at? Um, actually, the Shangri-La in Toronto. Like, I didn't love my room that I was in, but I, if I... I well, no, I liked the room. The room was awesome. The bathroom was cool. But it was just, like, really good service. It was in a good location. I don't know. Maybe it was just because it was a fun trip, but I, I really enjoyed that hotel. <laughs> uh, what's your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus. Uh, favorite social media? YouTube. Abs. Favorite restaurant? Capital Grill. Abs. I feel like these are so abs. Celebrities you had sex with. <laughs> I did, I did do an asterisk of celebrities I've dated, and I only mentioned one. Um, celebrities I've had sex with. I'm not going to give you a whole rundown, but I mean, people always want to know the juice, the juicy question. I feel like this is the title that people are going to click on and be like, when did she answer it? When did she answer it? And I'll be like one of those like cliffhangers where I'm like, I don't answer it. I'm like, girl, bye. I like my emoji. Um, should I spill some juice, some tea with you guys? I feel like I can. Like, I feel like enough time has passed that I can say that I bang these people and they'd be okay with it. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> um, I feel like if anything, they should be bragging that they banged me now, right? YouTuber. <laughs> um, no. Um, for a celebrity I banged, well, he wasn't really a celebrity, but he was on Full House. His name was David Lipper. He's not like a big celebrity. You guys wouldn't really know him. I knew him because he was Viper on Full House and he was in a bunch of Lifetime movies with Tiffany Amber Thiessen <laughs> as the abusive boyfriend. Um, I, he was my first. Um, I banged Eric Estrada <laughs> uh, at a Michigan hotel, keeping it classy, and um, obviously Anthony Michael Hall because we dated. Um, Crispin Glover, I've talked about. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm already getting in trouble. Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few others, but I'll just. Keep that on the hush. That'll be my book when I'm like 80. <laughs> um, yeah, they all had pretty good penises. There's no complaints. I'm not, there wasn't any like <laughs> there wasn't any like gross penis. I mean, yeah, I don't want to be mean. I was gonna say I was gonna rank them. I won't rank them like the worst, but this is probably Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> probably why I stuck around so long because he yeah, has some pretty good. Uh, Pretty good love skills. <laughs> and Crispin, too. Crispin's the best, like, kisser, maker, out, or four player. So, yeah. That's why I talk about that the most. And, yeah. I think Jamie and I are, like, friends. So, I think it's, like, weird to think about that now. And then, yeah. I did get some, like, randoms, too. But, more, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys some stories. You guys just probably can see me, like, <laughs> just wanting to share so many. But, We'll say that. We'll say that for another video. Maybe, maybe part two. Maybe this one gets like a million views or something. <laughs> the celebrities I dated one was big and I felt like I only said one name. So I, I give you a little more. So don't, don't hate me. <laughs> three positive and three negative things about yourself. I don't like focusing on negative. But I have no self-control when it comes to eating. <laughs> it's probably a negative. I have no self-control when it comes to sex. <laughs> I don't like bang anything. <laughs> And I have no self-control when it comes to alcohol because I'm a lush. So, yeah, I pretty much do sex, drugs, rock and roll <laughs> in excess. Um, and I spend too much money. That's four negatives. Okay, let's get off the negatives and positives. I feel like I'm very, very caring. I'm very, I have such a gentle heart, such a, I'm very, I'm very sensitive. Like, I'm a very sensitive spirit. And, um, 
I don't like making people like upset and stuff. I like everyone to just be happy all the time. <laughs> I don't like to cause any drama or cause, I don't like to be mean. I mean, I really don't. I try my hardest not to because I like to have everyone happy. Like my heart actually like hurts when I make someone feel bad. Um, I am very giving. I feel the more you give, the more you get. And I just, I, I just, it's not even that I would give to get, but the more I've given in life, I get it back 10 times. So I'm, I'm a giver. <laughs> and, um, and I'm very family oriented. I feel like family should always come first. And I'm very there for my family whenever they need me. And I would give my last dime, my last breath, my last drink of water, to my family. <laughs> um, Michelle, favorite song to dance to? Um, what have I been listening to lately? I've been loving Poison's Unskinny Pop Pop Blows Me Away. It's like, like a gasoline, you wanna pop me, and then you wanna get your fill. <laughs> I've been doing like slutty dances. Oh my god, and on Snapchat. Oh my god, I've been dancing to some 90s. The, nah, I love you, but I hate you. I can't stop, or I hate you, but I love you. I can't stop thinking of you. It's true, I'm stuck on you. Or Willa Ford's, I wanna be bad with you, baby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I wanna be bad with you. I was doing like a whole strip to that song. It's like, I don't want your girl to see that you're messing around with me. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's so 90s, and I was doing, um, why not, why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? If you lose the moment, you can lose a lot. So why not, why not? And, uh, hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend. No way, no way, I think you need a new one. Hey, hey, you, you, I could be your girlfriend. <laughs> Those are kind of like messages that I was sending out, but nobody was picking up. <laughs> so it just ended up being really funny. Um, <laughs> Tyler Oakley Slays at Amanda Lee. Um, cool. What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? I love you. I loved the cruise I went on when we went to the Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos. It was so beautiful. I haven't been a lot of tropical places, like, but of all the tropical places I've been, like, that was really beautiful. Um, like, it just was like, I don't know, it was like mesmerizing. It was like really, really pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask, are you watching the season of BB UK? No, I watch Celebrity Big Brother UK. I don't watch like the regular one. Um, shower in the night or the morning. I shower whenever I need it. Sometimes I don't shower for like two days. I just shower whenever I need it. I prefer, like, if I'm, like, doing something, I prefer to shower in the morning because I feel, like, freshest, like, going out. Um, but then sometimes I, like, if I have, like, fresh sheets, I like to, like, shower at night. So, I don't know. Like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Hiana Terry at Hannah High. If you could travel anywhere, three places, anywhere, three places, where would you go? Well, Bora Bora, Abby. Um, lately, I've been wanting to go to Thailand. Fuck, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, Thailand. I don't know. I want to go there because I sat on Shots of Sunset. And, um... I don't want to waste it. Where do I want to go? Thailand and... Where would I want to go? I don't know. I don't know where the third is. Dollywood? <laughs> In Tennessee? Uh, favorite color is pink. Um, would you ever go to Europe? No, I don't want to be abducted like Hostel 2. Where they went to Prague and... The American girls got like sold for torture to be tortured. Eli Roth, you sick fuck. Just kidding. I love Eli Roth. Eli Roth was like the bomb instructor back in the day, right? Like, I love him. I like know him. Like, I like know him, so it's not like anything. But like, Eli, dude, like, start making like. I know you make movies, but like, you need to like get back to like the hostile, hostile two cabin fever shit. Like, that shit was intense. Like, that was my ish. Or Thanksgiving trailer, just saying, could be a fun movie. I'm excited. No, I love all his movies. He did. Uh, he was in one called Aftershock. I really like, and I want to see Knock Knock, and I want to see. It's getting so long, my neighbor. So shut the fuck up out there. Do a video, bitch. I feel like sometimes they be loud so they could be in my video. <laughs> uh, what makeup are you wearing at the moment? This makeup, beautiful last night's makeup, smoky eye. Um, least favorite emoji. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know. Is there any emojis where I'm just like, let me go back to my sisters. What's the least favorite one? Oh, you know what I hate is the new alien, the square one. I don't have it on my phone, otherwise I'd show you. But my sister sends it to me, like people send it to me and it freaks me out. It looks like Scientology or some shit. Like I don't like that one. <laughs> um favorite Rihanna song, ask Lloyd Dempster. Uh I like the story of my life, searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me. Sorrow in my soul, cause it seems that wrong, really loves my company. He's more than a man, and this is more than love, the reason that the sky is blue. The clouds are rolling in, and da 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 da, and two of us just can't be true. Cause I know that he knows I'm unfaithful, and it kills him inside to know that I am happy with some other guy. I can see him dying, and I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna be the reason why. And every time you walk out the door, I see him die a little more inside. I don't wanna be a murderer in the park. I lost his trust. I might as well take a gun and put it to his head. Get it over with. I don't like Rihanna, but I love that song. It's like one of my favorite songs I listen to all the time. It comes on shuffle. You're welcome for that concert. Megan Carver at Megan C Radio. What do you tell yourself on days where your self confidence isn't as high as normal? I say, fuck it. Tomorrow you're gonna know you're hot as shit. <laughs> Today, just go be like a gross, fatty, ugly mess. And tomorrow you're gonna get it together, girl. <laughs> It's fine. They always say every day is a new day. I always think every day is a new day to love yourself. Like, you know, we all have shitty days. Like, let that shitty day go and pass. Eat some pizza. Get over your feelings. Um, <laughs> if you live any of the world, where would you be here in LA? Do you like your gray hair or blonde better? I like my gray hair, but I, I do miss being blonde. I like the gray. I definitely love it. But sometimes I'm like, oh, that would look so pretty with my blonde hair. <laughs> and when I see blondes, I'm like, so I said, like, why did you call us popsicles? So on my Twitter, I always call you guys something different. I think it's like an, I think it's funny. Like, I don't know, it's my own inside joke with myself. Like every morning, I'm like, what's up, kumquats? What's up, delicious celery sticks? What's up, cantaloupes? And today you guys were popsicles. The other day you guys were fish sticks, which I really like. Because I love fish sticks and I love you guys. Eyebrow waxing or threading? Definitely waxing. I do not like threading. Um, you should try pink dip dye. I just feel like that's... I mean, I'm pretty like childish, but I feel like that might be just a little too young for an old lady like myself. <laughs> um, least favorite ice cream flavor? I just not a big ice cream person. Probably like pistachio. I had pistachio one time and it was awful. She liked Dr. Rosa. Um, that's Christina. Um, I don't know. I like to be welcome back, Kata. Mr. Kata, Mr. Kata. I used to love him as Vinny Barberino. Ba 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 ba. He's like, oh, Mr. Kata, I thought you were dead. I was sweat. My John Travolta. That was the worst John Travolta ever. Um, uh, so weird. Would you rather live in a house? <laughs> Olivia Clark says, Would you rather live in a house where everything is made of clear glass or live in a house where you have no windows? Definitely clear glass. Oh my god. I don't want to be in prison, solitary confinement. Would you let Rick Moranis pee on you? 100% yes. Asks Gabby. Um, latest, last movie you watched? Um, what was the last movie I watched? Watch like I sat down and watched a movie. Oh, I watched the Lifetime one. Have I talked about this? Billy Zane. It was called Blue Seduction. No, Blue Seduction. I feel like it was called Blue Seduction, but now thinking about it, that's like a really stupid title for it. Yeah, I think it was Blue Seduction. That was so. It was like light porn. It was really good. I watched it on Memorial Day a long time ago. But yeah, it was really good. It was I got really turned on. Billy Zane is hot AF. <laughs> Final question will come from Laura at Laura Five So See. How did you cope? with having no boyfriends in your teens. Um, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I mean, I was so focused on what I wanted to do. Like, I feel like if you have a focus in life and like where you wanna go, like, you don't really think about boyfriends. I think now that I'm a little more like, I kinda am more comfortable in what I do and who I am. Like, I feel like now it's like, okay, it'd be nice to share this with someone, but I was so focused on building such a good foundation for me and just me and not even like thinking like oh I'll be desired by people like if I'm just like my own person but I just wanted to be my own person and just do my own thing make a name for myself make money for myself like I just always wanted that and so I thought boyfriends were a distraction anyway so I just thought you know who cares you know and at the end of the day like who cares like the boys will come like don't force it and what'd you ask in high school yeah I mean 
honestly, like, it's high school. Like, have fun. Like, I don't know. It's, it's so much drama. You don't need that in such an early age. So just, you know, have fun. Focus on you. Do you. And the boys will come. But I'm still waiting for boys, so don't ask me. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Ask Trisha. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I'm, like, running kind of a little bit on adrenaline, but I'm kind of, like, about fading now. <laughs> We're going on ease. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to get out and ask Trisha for you guys because I really enjoy them. So, I like the trend. I've been trying to keep up every Friday, but... I don't know, it sometimes feels like a lot of pressure, so if I miss a Friday, don't don't kill me, please. But you guys can follow me on Twitter, at Trisha Paytas, and I ask out random questions. I tweet all the time to people, but so you guys can ask me questions never, but definitely if you want to be included in the video, hashtag Ask Trisha. But I love you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you have a great weekend, and I want to say hi to Rannis, and until next time, here my kissies, my little baby fishies. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.